Cellists, hello. Today we're going to talk about cello posture or positioning. This is one of the most fundamental and important elements of cello technique. So, start by matching up the right shoulder of the instrument. On the back, right here, we've got the right shoulder right off the neck. We want to match that up with your sternum. So find your sternum, right where your ribs come together. We don't want to be too low on the sternum or too high up between the pectoral muscles. But right here, you can see on my Mozart shirt, it's where the two pianos meet. So find your sternum and match up this right shoulder of the instrument on the back to your sternum like this. Now, one of the most important things to figure out is how far out this end pin should be. And a lot of beginning students will have a teacher mark where it's supposed to be, and I used to do that as well. But what I find is that every cello chair is different. Um, and so with a different chair, you're going to need a different end pin height. And it's safer just to figure out exactly what your posture is supposed to look like, and then match the end pin length to the chair. One end pin length will not work in every chair. So match this up against your sternum. Now some cellists like a rather steep cello others more horizontal. Now, it's a matter of personal preference, but for, started, for starters, why don't you try something a little bit steeper than 45 degrees, something maybe 50 degrees. Um, and once you've got that set up here, feels good, right up underneath your, in, in, in against your sternum, then you want to let your end pin out. Parents, if you're setting up a, a, a younger student, you can set them up and then just drop that end pin and so that it matches perfectly. But if you're doing this for yourself, then you might have to adjust it a couple of times, right? You can see now the cello is sitting nice and low on my stomach. This is kind of how Yo-Yo Ma plays. Um, I don't recommend it, but uh, if I could sound like him, I would. Um, some people will put it out too high, right? And then it's up here on my pectoral muscles, right, resting on top. What we want is it to what we want is to get it right in line with your sternum. And so it might take a little bit of adjusting the end pin. And depending on the chair, you might have some different end pin lengths. Um, this corner, the left corner of the back of the instrument, you, if you look closely, it's a little bit discolored here because it's spent so many hours sitting against my blue jeans. Um, it will dig right into this corner of your knee, just resting there between the legs. Right? This corner on the other side sits on top of the leg. So you can kind of see it's, the cello is a little bit tilted and poking into the side of my knee on this side. It doesn't hurt. We're not squeezing. And then resting on top of this knee. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you know, if we played the cello like this, you wouldn't have these problems. But <laughs> we'd have other problems for sure. So because it's sitting over the left shoulder, um, we're going to have it between the legs and touching this left knee. And, um, and just right above the right knee. Women, uh, the, the position is, very, is really the same for you. The cello will sit on top of the chest and rest um, on the sternum as best you can. Um, sometimes it'll be a little bit higher on a woman than it will be on a man, depending on, uh, on how they're built. But the, you don't want to have it too low and underneath. Uh, up on top and just touching the sternum. Let me, let me talk a little bit about cello chairs, because this is a big deal. Um, I'm going to turn this chair sideways so you can see. This is a, this is a, a music chair. Right? This is the chair that my orchestra performs on. And um, you can see it, it, it's straight here. And actually, if you see the indentation, it's angled forward just slightly so that we can sit up straight without having to strain. A lot, if you're on a folding chair that angles back, or any chair that angles back, um, you're going to find that it's very hard to have good cello posture. We want you to sit up straight in the back as though you're, the top of your spine is sort of Hung, suspended. We don't want anything elevated, just very relaxed shoulders with a straight supported back. Um, if you are on a chair that makes it so that, you know, if you're a younger person and your feet are dangling or barely touching, you can't get the heel down flat, that chair's too tall. If you're on a chair um, where your knees are above the middle of your, uh, of your hip, then that chair is too low for you. Try a piano bench, they're usually taller. Um, we want the, the middle of the hip down to the ball of the knee to be about a two inch slope. And everybody's built a little bit differently, but we certainly don't want it to be steep like this, and we certainly don't want you to be up elevated above the knee. Nice slope here, nice straight back. Chair that helps you do that, 
that sits flat or pushes you forward a little bit um, is going to be the very best for your cello posture. There are lots of places that you can go to find chairs that, that will work for any age. Um, I teach students that are very young, three, four, and <laughs> I've had kids sitting on footrests, on, uh, on patio chairs. Um, I'll have the parents bring the chair with them to the lesson so we can set the kid up on the, on the chair that they're playing with. It's sort of a hassle at the start, but you want it, it's worth it because if you're playing on the wrong size chair, it doesn't really matter what we do here, you're not going to be successful. Um, piano benches are great, but they're adjustable especially. If you're having a hard time finding the right size chair, go get one of these um, you know, sort of X piano benches that have a, the, the bolt in the middle and you can raise or lower them depending on the height of the child. We also want to make sure they're not sitting too far back on the, inst on the chair. Um, so, just to review, back of the instrument, against the sternum, sit up straight, feet flat on the floor, slightly, slightly wider than the knees. All right, you're going to have one end of the cello, the left end poking in the side of the knee, the other side just sitting above it, and then you're set up for success. I can't tell you how many times I've helped students to, to make these adjustments and all of a sudden things work easier for them. Um, if you're having a difficult time with something that's particularly technical on the instrument, you're not being able to get up in a thumb position, make sure that cello is between your legs, make sure that you're, that you're set up right, and you'll find that the instrument comes to you. All right, I hope that you all have beautiful posture. Thank you, cellists.